Hi guys, RT here. So for this video, we'll be introducing a team comp surrounding between Jinchu R2 and Mavis. So Mavis doesn't need to be R2, Mavis just need to be R0 and Jinchu must have uh, R2. So if you guys missed out the previous video about the Jinchu buff one, you watch that first before watching this one so you'll understand what am I going to do. So as we already know that Jinchu R2 is able to share the buff which is the Intimidate and Intimidate get the buff already which is like the Jiang Jiu Li's shield before you're getting a hit you're gonna get a shield right and then Mavis passive will always give her teammate crit rate up when the start of Mavis turn then Mavis will get the uh, the Intimidate buff from Jinchu then Mavis will always get the shield right I, which I also dem demonstrate at the previous um, Jinchu video. So now let's take a look how it's gonna look, go. So if I even though I make the Esper max level and then I take my Jinchu's gear away, like make it empty, just left my Mavis have have some have some gear on it, some HP bonus gear, and then let's take a look. Why I put uh, the shield set is to let Mavis instantly have the intimidate buff at the start of the turn. So now we can see that. Uh, maybe his HP won't drop. So Jinchu died. Now they they are trying to focus fire on Mavis, but it will all fail. How to just keep blocking? See, so now you can see my Mavis HP is still at hundred percent because every damage come in here attacks to Mavis um, health. So the only way to actually kill Mavis with this situation is either you out DPS the shield amount. It's like you one shotting Mavis, or you put buff blocker, or you put or you, you have some buff steel. But the buff steel is not that efficient as well because uh, I did some testing. The buff steel doesn't really work as well, cause uh, she will gain back the shield instantly. So the best way to actually kill Mavis in this form is either you one shot the shield with the HP together, or you buff block the shield, um, getting the shield. And so. With this team, you can surround with other three Esper um, that can debuff, uh, dispel the debuff from Mavis or like healing or like other uh, mechanics su such such as Jiang Chu Li. So let's say uh, you want Jiang Chu Li to revive from the Griefless, all those kind, right? You can put the Esper surrounding this team. So I made a free to play team surrounding this team idea. So Mavis can't really die. Unless the, your enemy DPS is like really high And then if Mavis cannot die, Mavis will always revive her teammate For example, you can see I, I revived um, Jinchu. Jinchu used S2 and S3 damage again Then in the end, slowly slowly I will still chip off their HP until they die Since they can't kill my Mavis, right? And you can also put in other Esper that can deal DPS passively Such as Emma or those um, Esper that can cut, um, revive and do some one shot damage. Um, so let's say normal, or so let's say Jiang Jiu Li, all those because when they are in graveless mode, they can't move, but their passive and their cooldown will still re um, still reduce. If I you take a look, you see Jin Chiu's skill is up again because um, when she's he's in graveless mode, every time he takes his turn, he will still reduce his cooldown. So which means later when Mavis revive them, Mavis will instantly. Uh, make them ha can take their action with uh, a massive amount of buff because this one so parade their crit damage is increased by 90% so if you put like all those DPS experts surrounding her when she re revive them she they they can instantly one shot the whole team okay so you can see until now they still can't even hit my maybe's HP because their DPS is not enough so when enemy is making like a tank team without any um, very good DPS sooner or later they will die and if you are in a point war defend team if you are making this as a point war defend team and they didn't manage to kill a Mavis and there's actually a turn limit of 500 for point war defend then they will automatically lose as well right so you can see how OP is Mavis with Jin Chiu uh, now and now let's take a look at point war Okay, so let's take this team as an example and you can see uh, th this account point war is only level, um, tier 9 and then this is the opponent of tier 10 and this is the team I'm gonna use. Let me equip Jinchu first. Okay, cause I want to make this team as 
um, as free to play as possible so I'm not gonna use all those um, Asper that is like very strong such as Jiang Juli all those things because Jiang Juli can fit in this team very very well as well so uh, let's say if you have Jiang Juli if and you want to build this team maybe you can switch out um, Emma or maybe switch out Catherine okay so let me tell you the team idea of this so Mavis is running on, <coughs> on Ocean Wave and the shield set so the shield will share the shield, um, buff to the whole team and then Mavis will instantly get the intimidate buff from Jin Chiu. So this is the first thing and then Mavis is running on Ocean Wave just to rotate her S3 faster and mute her as tanky as possible. She don't need any speed, it's possible just make her as high HP and high defense as possible. Just make her tanky. Then for uh, Jin Chiu here, just build DPS um, set on him, it doesn't matter. Then for um, Jin Yu Yao here, you want to build her with Astro set and Avatar also fine, it doesn't matter because Jin Yu Yao here, the main purpose is just for the clans. Because at the start of Jin Yu Yao turn, she will dispel one debuff from each ally, but excluding the stun. So if your Mavis keep getting stun, Mavis will forever cannot cast the S3, right? So I put the Jin Yu Yao here, can, is able to cast, um, dispel away like the speed down, attack down, defend down, even the buff blocker as well because I, I told you buff blocker will be one of the deadly debuff for maybe you're not able to get the shield so Jin Yu Yao here is able to help you dispel the buff blocker and also heal the whole team then I put another Catherine here if you have Sally you can put Sally but I put Catherine here because it's more kind of more free to play and Catherine is just level 50 and I, you can see the equipment is not even that good I just simply put in one set so at the start of Catherine turn, dispel one debuff from all ally, and the debuff will also AP push the whole team by 25% because one debuff is 5%. So there's five teammates here, so it's 25% um, AP boost, and then it will dispel one debuff including stun. So let's say Jin Yu Yao already dispel away the speed down. For example, he for example if maybe if Mavis have buff blocker and stun on her, then Jin Yu Yao can can settle the the buff blocker then Catherine can settle the stun because Catherine can settle any kind of debuff including the stuns so and this is passive passive can still activate when they are still in griefless mode because grief griefless mode is just that you cannot act you cannot take action cannot be selected take damage or, or, or cannot be healed right but their passive can still be triggered Okay, so um, then Emma here is the one also considered as a free-to-play Asper. So Emma have a passive as well when my teammate get hit, she have a 15% chance of launching the counter-attack. Even though we have no Hinge, it's fine. We don't need to gamble the 100%. We just gamble the 15% here. And then um, the set is not necessary. I just simply put in a set as well. You can the better the best set is Thunder and um, Crit Rate set and make it very strong um, crit rate, crit damage, and low speed. Okay, so with this team idea already, this team can fully go full auto and you'll see why. Oh, by the way, I make my Jin Yu Yao the fastest, so Tolan will target on Jin Yu Yao. So let's take a look. Okay, so I just make it auto. Okay, so you can see Emma can randomly attack, um, uh, and attack the enemy when they hit my teammate. There's a 15% chance. Okay, you can see my Mavis get the HP reduction, but it's fine because Mavis HP is still considered as 100% because this is the HP buff 100% and you can see Leora damage on Mavis, it deals nothing. Let's take a look at Mavis HP, still 100%. Okay, then Mavis um, put in the Holiday Rest to increase the crit rate, uh, crit damage damage. Then uh, Jin Chiu will slowly apply all those debuff, the Convict debuff. And what is Convict debuff? Convict is debuff is the one that can deal extra true damage when they take damage or when they are turned. So you can see, I'll just keep keep on repeating this thing, applying Convict. Okay, guys, a good attack. Okay, look at my Mavis HP now. It's still 100% because the shield is so thick until um, they cannot attack through the shield. Okay, now I have buff blocker, right? So I cannot get shield, but two of them will settle it up. Then Emma will just keep on doing. Okay, Jin Yu Yao clans away already. See, even though the weakness is buff blocker, or or you one shot maybe, Jin Yu Yao and Catherine can do the job, and leave the rest, uh, the DPS to Jin Chu and Emma. And as long as maybe she survive, the battle won't end, because maybe can always revive them from the griefless mode. Even though you see now it's on. Invincibility, 
no worry. You know, on standoff, no worry. All we need to do is just wait. Wait until, uh, wait until Leora's turn. Then the standoff is um gone. Then he uh then she will die. Just then we just keep on waiting. But this is a very um very crazy team if you can build it. And and it only requires Jin Chu and Mavis. I believe a lot of you can already already obtain Mavis from the Wish Pool. And Jin Chu, maybe you can consider getting him to R2 if you uh, want to play this comp. And I highly recommend it because it's very strong. I also um, rec recorded a few clips about them in this low point war, but using this uh, uh, using this team to actually kill Anna as well. Um, why this team is able to kill Anna? Because Catherine got two hit. You see, it's not even skill up. So Catherine got two hit. So the first hit will get blocked by Anna. The second hit will hit Anna. And then the longer the battle, the healing efficiency is lower. Which means in the, at the end of the day, Emma will not able to heal anymore. But maybe is still able to get shield because shield will not get affected by the point war time limit resist resisting. And Emma is one of the M uh, Anna killer as well because a Anna passive counter is dealing three hit. Three, every, and every hit is a 58% damage and then it also benefits from Mavis um, crit damage buff so Emma is also a Anna killer here and this team won't die unless they are strong enough to kill Mavis or else this team will stay here forever alright let me show you one more battle okay check out this team here so enemy is using TA, Jiang Jiu Li, Ethan and then Farah. So obviously it outspeed this team. Uh, so this team is Gabriel's team, which is the Mavis, Jin Chiu, uh, Narma, and Changji. So we can take a look here. So we outspeed. Then deal debuff. Okay, then Narma deal damage. Okay, it's okay. Okay, Farah frees the team. Chang Chiu Li start killing, start killing people. And then they just keep stunning Mavis, right? Because this team doesn't have clans. But let's take a look in the end. Okay, so his team can't move. And then they are gonna kill Jin Chiu soon. Okay, it still keeps stunning. But you can see all that they, they are trying to kill the Mavis now. But no matter how hard they try, Mavis is not getting any damage. His whole team died. But Mavis is not getting any damage. Which means when Mavis, uh, when, when Mavis take his turn, her turn, she's able to revive the whole team, and then she, they will have a comeback. See, Mavis not taking a, taking a damage at all. Can't deal any damage. Even there's a Jiang Li there. And this is not a low tier. This is like the one of the end game. One of the end game team com and the Janjuli is not weak. It's just that the shield is too thick. And then in the end he just quit the game. <laughs> right, so uh I'll, I'll put a, the remaining showcase at the back of the video. Feel free to go enjoy it and feel free to comment down how do you think about um this um Jin Shield plus maybe team com. Hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.